you know, I think this book is about um, hidden truths, um, misunderstood realities. There has been a lot of great work that focuses on the triumphs that Black and Latinx students have achieved, and that's really great. Um, at the same time, there is also maybe too much work that fetishizes the challenges um, and traumas that these students have encountered. But throughout most of my life, I have rarely seen my story authentically represented in literature. I could see glimpses of my story, but never the full reality. Um, so I've spent most of my academic career understanding why that has been the case, whether my experiences are just my experiences and I'm an anomaly, um, or if there was something missing in the broader literature about what we think we know about high achieving students of color. So to answer your question, um, this book is about sharing what I have learned through these conversations with the 18 students who are highlighted in the book, um, who participated in the project, that my story, that these students' stories are more common than we realize, uh, despite the education achievements that we may have amassed, um, those wins can come at a cost, what I in the book call racial opportunity cost. Um, and I guess more importantly, I want people to know that there is a bigger story to these costs, It's which is that these costs are related to the racialized expectations that are kind of baked into our schooling structure. And so as educators, we participate in creating and perpetuating these challenges. Um, again, what I call racial opportunity costs. So ultimately this book is about helping educators understand the complexities of these students' experiences. And I hope giving them tools to foster educational spaces that inspire students, um, inspire them to reach their full potential, um, but to do that without losing essential aspects of who they are to do so.